Hey, hey, happy Wednesday. So we're continuing on today. And I want to reiterate what we ended with yesterday, that fruit is a visible manifestation of the type of vine or seed or plant, flower, um, that we are. Fruit is an identifier. Fruit is an identifier. And um, what's your fruit? You were created to bear fruit. Um, John 15, 6 tells us that if a person does not dwell in me, so we can choose to dwell in Christ, in Jesus, or we can choose to not dwell in Jesus. Um, I want to talk about that, though. The dwelling is where the life is. And so looking in day 13, um, John 15, 5 says, I'm the vine, you are the branches. Whoever lives in me and I am him bears much fruit, much abundant fruit. However, apart from me or cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. So that, again, points to Jesus being our enabler, our sustainer, um, that we have to be in vital union with him in order to produce. Now, I, I want to look for just a second at what does it mean, what does vital mean? And so in the book, it says, take a moment and look up the word vital or vitally. And that's how it describes our union with Christ. The word describes our union with Christ as vital. <laughs> have you ever, I'm, I'm sure you have, um, heard in whether it be a medical show, whether it be actually at you at the hospital or doctor's office, and they say, what are her vitals or what are, what are their vital signs? signs of life. It's signs of life. And so two definitions that I have here is necessary to the maintenance of life and of the utmost importance. And that is our union with Jesus. It is the utmost importance because he is our source of life cut off from him we there is no life we have no life we are connected only to death um, but Jesus is our source of life he our our union with him is vital to our life vital to producing vital to growth and it's important that we recognize that and in the same way um, Let's see, one, and this is up at the top of that page, but one message once or twice a week is not enough to sustain your spirit, just like one or two meals a week is not enough to sustain your body. And so if our union with Christ is of utmost importance and it is vital, it is necessary to life, then we must, we must spend time with that union, developing that union, growing in relationship with him. Um, I, I want to talk, let's see, we have a couple of minutes here. Um, we'll come back to that because it's going to take a full day. We'll go there tomorrow. But again, re reiterating that our union with Christ is essential for life. And let's go to Philippians 4.13, which again is a verse that you all know. But I want to look at it in the Amplified Classic, which is what we usually read on here. But it says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am equal to anything, ready for anything, equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. See, even again, it's in Christ. In those verses we read in Colossians, let's remember that. It is, um, have we received Christ, so walk and conduct ourselves in union with him, having the roots of our being firmly and deeply planted in him, fixed and founded in him, being continually built up in him. I can do all things through him, it's all about Jesus. He is the enabler. He is the strengthener. Are we connected? Are we hooked up? Are we plugged in? Are we united to the source? Have we planted ourselves? Have we fixed ourselves in the source? 
And so tomorrow we're going to look at a very important story. And um, I hope you will join us back for that. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.